Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from the floor of PTC 23 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, the sun is shining outside. Uh, we're inside right now, but we'll, we'll be out again. Um, joining me today here is Scott Willis, CEO of Dart Points. Uh, so welcome, first of all. Uh, I, it's a busy week so far. Yeah, thanks, Marv. I appreciate you having me. And and yeah. you're right. We are uh, we are here enjoying the weather. It's beautiful outside. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great week. So I I, I think uh, I don't know quite what the number is here, but I'm I think we're pushing uh, record attendance yep. at the conference. Exactly uh, it's been right. some great discussions, uh, great meetings, uh, both with uh, customers, prospective customers, colleagues. It's been uh, so far. I uh, the show's been great, and it's been a it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it feels a lot like, you know, we're record breaking, they're saying, but like even more than any pre-pandemic numbers that were experienced at this show, you can really feel it, right? And there's so much happening for everyone. Right. And I know there is for dark points. And before, I know you have some news, but before we get to that, I want to just, just for our viewers who may not know, just talk a little bit about about dark points. Yeah, sure. So for those of you that don't know, dark, uh, dark points, we're a uh, we're an edge uh, owner operator of, of, of data centers, right? Yep. Uh, today we've got um, markets largely focused in the Midwest and the Southeast part of the U.S. That's where we're that's where we're positioned today. Um, we uh, we're really we're really all about um, serving our customer needs. It's really yep. when you know when you when you talk about edge, it can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people, right? So maybe putting a little bit definition around that. Um, but we're focused on bringing world class solutions and delivering the same capabilities, the same solutions at the same price point and the same performance level that that customers get in some of the tier one markets. Because again, uh, our, our data centers are focused and we're growing in really um, uh, smaller tier two, uh, tier three and some tier four markets. So that's really who we are. It's where we're focused. Yep. And it's really what we're all about as we as we look to bring products and solutions uh, that meet the needs of our customers. Yeah. And I think I alluded to it before, but you have some breaking news uh, today. I mean, perfect time to announce with all, you know, the entire industry together, or a lot of the industry <laughs> together right. here uh, and and tuning in to, to what's happening this week. For those, you know, who aren't here, they're they're watching what what's coming out, what, you know, what sorts of announcements are happening. What a What's happening with dark points? Yeah, uh, so we're 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 excited about that. So um, it went out today. It actually hit the yeah. wire today. Uh, we are we are launching a bare metal solution uh, into the market for our customers. Um, and, and let me let me spin it back a little bit. Twenty two was really a really busy year for dark points. We rolled out a lot of products. Right, we're focused in co-location. We're focused in hybrid cloud and we're focused in managed services. And so strategically, as we build our portfolio, and I talked about the focus we have around our customers, introducing bare metal as an extension of, of what we've already launched in, in 22 is really supportive of the vision we have for the company and how we're, how we're looking to grow. Um, it's, a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different because we're, 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 we're looking at it in a way that um, we're gonna, create a market or attempt to create a market with our better bare metal solution. It's really a solution uh, that is going to bring capabilities into the market that's targeted at more at mid market customers. So we're not really building a platform that's targeted at the top of the pyramid. Um, and some of the really large uh, big global corporations, ours is really pointed at what we believe the needs uh, of the customers that are in uh, the markets that we serve and it's bringing a bare metal solution that can meet the needs of really a, a customer that's 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 floating between traditional co-location where they have to spend their capital, right? They have to bring that in a colo environment and they may not be quite ready to move fully into a, a, a either a public or a private cloud environment. Right. And so it's 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 targeting that segment of the market and really again identifying a need that we see in the market and trying to serve that need. Mm -hmm. and, and Scott, I know I know that you're actually, I mean, not only doing this for dark points, but you're providing thought leadership to the industry. Yesterday, you were on a, a panel talking about, I think, I believe, edge data centers. It was, yeah. yes. Can you give us a few highlights? From yeah, that? so here's, here's really, it was a great discussion. Yep. So I had uh, some great colleagues on there, and it was really focused in um, really three general areas. One is the, the first topic was, was really talking about what is the opportunity within edge, 
right? Uh, it was talking about workloads. It was it was talking about how the how the industry is evolving uh, towards edge compute. It's talking about delivering solutions from a data center perspective at the point of need, at the point of demand. So that that's probably was the first thing. Great discussion, good topics there. The second part really touched on um, how the how the from a from a data center perspective how it's evolving to meet not only legacy needs of the customers but forward um, uh, leaning needs and how do we solve for that? Lar the largest part of the discussion was really built around density and how customers are continuously demanding in a smaller footprint within a data center more density and what are the challenges from an operator perspective. Right. And then probably really the last and, and third thing that we really spent quite a bit of time on was sustainability, was around power, right? Yeah. Um, what's the future need going to be from a data center operator perspective? Yeah. Um, and how do we how do we do this in a more sustainable way? So those were really the, the three major themes that came out of the discussion yeah. and enjoyed it. It was a it was great interaction with the audience and it was a good discussion. That's great. I, I I popped into some of these panels and and the it's quite impressive I think the content that's delivered here it's it, you know it's great that you were able to be part of that you know what you have to say is so important and I, I so sort of switching gears to I you know I always say you know everyone's coming together here at PTC to hear from people like you and and others and and share thoughts on on what's to come and and some trends and and solve for some of the things that the industry's facing um, but it's also a nice time to really, you know, kick off the year for a lot of organizations. And so when you sort of look towards the the right remainder of this year, I'm sure you have plans in place. What what can we expect to, to hear from Dart Points over the next sort of six to twelve months? Yeah, we do. And and I, I think you you described it well, right? This 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 conference can serve as a bit of a is a bit of a launching pad. Um, you know, what what I think you can really look for um, in in twenty two we, we first of all we had a really strong year right yeah. especially from a, a a bookings perspective right we had we had uh, uh, really what was the strongest year in our history so we're excited about the tailwinds and the momentum we had a really good uh, uh, fourth quarter uh, we're expecting a really strong Q1 and so we're really building a platform to leverage off of that um, I think around um, some expectations uh, over 22 22 was a, a real significant year of investment in our portfolio. We introduced a lot of products, a lot of capabilities around hybrid cloud, security. I just talked about bare metal. Yeah. I think what you'll see in 23 is, is a year of not, not so much focus around new products, but extending the investment we made in 22 and really growing and, and, and um, leveraging that investment and really trying to drive into the market yeah. the types of solutions that we think our customers are telling us they need and uh, getting a return on the investment we made in 22. So yeah. I think from a, from an expectation, um, uh, we're in a little bit of a choppy market, right? Some mm -hmm. of the macro headwinds out there are real and, and we keep a close eye on that. But a lot of the fundamental um, uh, indicators that we look at as we try to drive and build this business are positive. And we're excited about the tailwinds and the momentum as we look forward into 23. Yeah, great. Sounds promising. Sounds it exciting. Does. And we, we always, excited. you know, yeah, we always look forward to catching up with you and, and, you know, hearing what's coming. So we'll, you know, I'm sure we'll have opportunities throughout the year, if, if not you know, certainly here next year, we'll, we we'll be we, hearing, you know, absolutely. did all this come to fruition and, and what more, what more that you hadn't even anticipated yet did you end up, um, you know, being able to, to act on. So anyway, thank you. Thank you so much thank for joining for us. We're, so not everyone can be here. So for those who, who aren't able to meet with you in person here, how can they connect with you? Really, it's 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 what I've what I've said before in these. It's really uh, our website is our is is really our entry point into Dart Points. So um, www.dartpoints.com. All all the information that I've talked about and that we put out in the public domains on that site. So that's really the first entry point is uh, as you look to uh, to learn a little bit about Dart Points. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank this you. This is a this is a great chat. I've I've really enjoyed it. And thanks Scott for joining us. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV coming to you live from the floor of PTC 23. Mahalo.